indie game fans, adding on from yesterday's video, PAX East is just filled with awesome indie games, so if you get a chance to go, be sure to check out the indie mega booth for more of these experiences. So here are 10 more upcoming indie games from PAX East 2019. Twenty fourteen's excellent rhythm action brawler, One Finger Death Punch, gets a sequel due out this year, and the first game for a long time was my go to recommendation for an awesome indie game with value for money. It features insanely fast action, stylish combat, and just that tinge of nostalgia since it reminds me of the old Stickman Flash animations. More levels, skills, and challenges await. Good morrow, Dean Blog. Pray, tell me, how may I be of service to you? Well, as you may recall, a series of unlucky investments have almost ruined me. But you will be pleased to know that I've invested my remaining fortune in a new venture so assured of success that I will make all my money back and more. Assured, you say? How very reassuring. <laughs> I have invested in an expedition to intercept a fleet of Spanish ships carrying gold back from South America. The expedition is being led by the famous Sir Walter Raleigh and the Earl of Essex, so success is virtually guaranteed. <laughs> uh, there is one small worry, however. Ah, oh, only one? Aye. It is that... Raleigh and Essex set sail full two months past, but there is yet no tidings of them. Such silence is a trifle vexing. Have they yet captured the Spanish treasure ships? Oh, surely no ill has befallen them. A most vexing mystery indeed. Let us see whether the stars can tell us what has become of this expedition you have invested in. Astrologaster is based on the real-life sordid tale of one Simon Foreman, an astrologer and occultist who took to reading the stars to consult on his patients' problems, ranging from legitimate medical conditions to romantic entanglements and missing property. Scam artist or wise sage, it is up to you in this comedic adventure. 
wondrous tidings. Your family's fortune is soon to be restored, and you may thank God for it, for it was he that granted you the intuition to invest in such a well-led expedition. Raleigh and Essex have come upon the Spanish treasure fleet, and a violent battle off the coast of Spain is being waged this very hour. Huzzah! O oh, Heavenly Father, I give thanks unto thee for both thy mercy and thy business savvy. Close to the Sun is a first-person horror game that takes place in an alternate history where the works of Nikola Tesla gains mainstream prominence much more quickly and that his inventions had a major impact on the world. Taking place aboard one of his ships and playing as a journalist looking for her sister, you realise quickly that something has gone horribly wrong and must find a way to survive and escape. Some real serious Bioshock vibes from this. In 2015's Emily is Away told a heartfelt story and managed to capture AOL instant messaging used in the 90s very well. So the sequel, Emily is Away Less Than 3, now looks at Facebook instead. Given the number of positive reviews on the first, I'm sure that this will tell a story excellently as well. Evergate is a beautiful puzzle platformer with a cute main character and an interesting central mechanic of breaking different types of crystals and using their powers to get to the next level. The puzzles are open-ended with multiple solutions and for a puzzle platformer, the visuals are impressive as well.
Half Past Fate is a romantic narrative adventure starring six main characters, and while not usually my style of game, this is from the developer of the amazing platformer, The King's Bird, so I'm definitely interested. Beautiful, hybrid, 3D pixel art as well. I'm a big fan of sliding puzzle games, with titles such as Slay Away Camp ranking amongst my favourites, and Keen, the next title from Cat Nigiri, makers of the excellent two-button mini Metroidvania, Necrospear Deluxe cleverly mixes puzzles and combat. Something serious. Something that hurt the people you care about. I was just thinking about developer Luca Redwood and the team at 88 Games the other day, since this is the studio behind the Match 3 RPG 10 million and its sequel, You Must Build a Boat, with the most recent title coming out in 2015. This is their follow-up and takes a different twist since it is a narrative tragedy puzzle game, and while I'm not quite sure what the gameplay is like, given the pedigree, I have faith it will be great. I guess my story starts way before I even existed. I started diving when I was really young. By 17, I was accepted onto the GBU team. Never could stand crowd, so we moved out here. I didn't tell Annie. It would have broken her. I was letting down my team. My country. My fans. I should never have let it go so far. is a simulation puzzle game with a low poly art style, but what just sold me on the game is that you are a shepherd for a herd of elephants, which just sounds awesome. There's a whole element of restoring the world which is pleasant, so it should be a nice chill little game.
Sky Racket is a shooter mark breaker, which is a little misleading since you cannot fire your own projectiles, but rather have to use your racket to deflect enemy attacks. Deflected projectiles will bounce around in an Arkanoid Brick Breaker fashion, so something a little different in the shooter mark genre, with a wonderful presentation which rounds off the package. For more upcoming indie games, check out the previous video or click on the playlist and I will see you after the jump.